Okay, consider the arrangement shown in figure. Assume that resistance is 6 ohm, length is 1.2 meter, and a uniform 2.5 Tesla magnetic field is directed into the page. Okay, so A, at what speed should the bar be moved to produce a current of uh, 0.5 ampere in the resistor? Okay, uh, so Okay, so what formula should we use for the question A? Right, so um, this is, uh, we can say, induced EMF for straight conductor, yeah? For a move, uh, straight induced EMF for a moving straight conductor uh, through a magnetic field, okay? So uh, here the question asks for what is the speed? So V, you want to find V, yeah? Uh, what to find V? Uh, he give you the current already, yeah. This is the current I, okay. Uh, all right, and then you have the resistor, the length. This is the magnetic field B, okay. Uh, so for question A, so for question A, what formula are we going to use? Induced EMF. Uh, for induced EMF in a straight, straight uh, conductor. Okay, induced EMF in straight conductor is the formula E induced equal to uh, E, sorry, E induced is equal to uh, L V cross B. Uh, it's a cross product between uh, V and B, between velocity and magnetic field. Okay, uh, L V cross B. So, it, which is also BLV sine theta. Uh, because it is a cross product, it is a uh, cross product, that's why you use sine theta. Okay? And what is the angle theta? Theta is the angle between these two, this velocity and magnetic field. Uh, okay? Uh, the cross between V and B. Uh, so, this is the theta is the angle between them. Lah between the velocity and magnetic field all right so uh, okay first of all what is the angle theta okay angle theta if you look at here uh, this is the velocity and this is the magnetic field into the page so we can say this uh, velocity and magnetic field they are perpendicular uh, okay so this theta velocity is uh, perpendicular to magnetic field understand uh, so the theta is 90 degree understand <coughs> because velocity to the right velocity to the right magnetic field into the page magnetic field into the page so they are 90 degree to each other 90 degree to each other so uh, this theta is 90 okay remember theta is between v and b because it is v cross b okay uh, it's between these two Okay, so uh, so we got the formula. It is uh, BLV. Uh, okay, wait. So we we have we want to find the V, isn't it? We want to find V. Uh, induced EMF. Do we have the induced EMF? We don't have yet. Okay, but we can find the induced EMF uh, because we know that E induced. Uh, the induced EMF will produce induced current. I uh, will produce induced current. Okay, uh, and then E equal to IR, uh, this is according to Ohm's law. Alright, uh, so, um, okay, uh, because he say that, uh, hold on a second, so because he says that um, uh, this bar, bar produce a current, uh, so this is, this one should be induced current lah. Now what I can say, this one is the induced current. Uh, induced current. Yeah, produce, it produces a current. Uh, so it's induced current. Induced current of 0 0.5 ampere. Okay. And then this induced current flow through the resistor. Yeah. Flow through the resistor. So resistor is uh, 6 ohm. So from there you can find induced EMF. 
Uh, so I actually I also can substitute this E induce equal to I in I I R E equal to I R. This I R can substitute over here. Okay, let's substitute first, yeah. So E equal to I R uh understand? Okay, substitute over here. Uh so uh Okay, so it is uh, 0 0.5 ampere. Okay, 0 0.5 ampere multiply resistance is 6 ohm. And then magnetic field is uh, 2.5 uh, Tesla. 2.5 Tesla. Length is uh, 1.2 ampere. 1.2 meter. And ah, uh, confirm we lost this. Sign 90. Okay, sign 90 is equal to 1. Lah. Yeah, sine 90 is sine 90 is equal to 1 that's right okay so i can find my v i can find my v so let's calculate my v <coughs> my v is 2.5 multiply 6 uh divide by 2.5 and then divide by 1.2 okay uh so the velocity is 1 1 meter per second uh 1 meter uh, per second okay okay so i got my answer correct for this one uh, how about question b uh, question b now i want to find the direction okay the direction of this induced current uh, of this induced current which is the 0 0.5 ampere just now okay uh, what is the direction of this uh, induced current uh, which produced by the the bar moving conductor okay with 0 0.5 ampere yeah that flows through the resistor so what is the direction is it is it um uh clockwise or anti-clockwise uh, okay is it moving up the resistor or moving down the resistor uh, so so let's find out the so how to how to find the direction i teach you two methods right so here i also going to show you both methods yeah i'm going to show you both methods also so uh the first method i start with the first method first method is using the right hand rule <coughs> okay right hand rule so how to draw the right hand rule again uh right hand rule okay this is your right hand uh okay before that before that, it is based on the formula. Okay, I explain back the formula. It is E induced equal to L uh, V cross B. Uh, actually, it is based on this formula. Yeah, uh, L V cross B, which is B L V sin theta. Okay, uh, it's based on this formula. So, um, it's a cross product. Yeah, it is a cross product. Uh, that's why we use right hand rule because it's a cross product uh, if you still remember in the chapter one semester one you learn about cross product yeah you learn about right hand rule uh, this is where it come from okay this is where it come from you use the right hand rule for cross product okay uh, all right so this is the uh, okay so okay let me draw my right hand first my right hand so my this is my right hand not left hand uh, must be used right hand uh. use only right hand okay and this is my palm okay this is my palm all right so okay so um this is the first we start with this one first finger uh this is the four finger and then this one is my palm and then lastly this is the induced emf okay induced emf or uh, induced current okay so this is the uh, this one is the four finger four fingers this is the palm and this is the palm ah understand and uh we know that <coughs> um this uh you also can change the formula into you know, I induce R uh, equal to L V cross B. <coughs> okay, 
So we can say that induced current also show by the thumb. Uh, understand? Uh, so so uh, in, in the, the thumb is the induced EMF or induced current. Yeah, because E induced equal to I induced R. Yeah, E equal to I R. Right? Uh, so okay, so uh, my four finger so this is my four finger. Let's start with my four finger is my velocity. Uh, and then my palm is the magnetic field, and then my thumb is the E induced or it is the I induced lah. Uh, yeah. The V is uh, actually is V cross B. Uh, yeah. Separated by angle theta. Uh, okay. Separated by angle theta. Between theta is between theta is between V and B. V V and B. Okay, so it's V cross B. Start with uh, finger first. Finger is number one. Uh, finger is uh, number one. And then palm, the, the four finger, the four finger is number one. The palm is number two. The palm is number two. Lastly, the thumb is the number three. Uh, thumb is number three. Okay. Uh, so... The four finger is the velocity, the pump is the magnetic field, and then the pump is the induced EMF. Okay, so um, let's go, uh, let's move to the camera and we'll show you uh, this uh, right hand rule. Yeah? The four finger is velocity, pump is the magnetic field, and thumb is the induced EMF. Okay, so let me show you uh, this one. Okay, so this one you can see. Uh, is it correct? Uh, yeah, go back. Go, uh, let's just look at the. This is the original diagram. Okay, this is the original diagram. The rod is moving to the. Uh, okay, you can see the rod. The rod is moving to the right. The rod is moving to the right. The magnetic field is going into the page. Magnetic field going into the page. Okay. So I'll show you my camera. Uh, okay, this is the one. Yeah. So this is the rod. Uh, the rod moving to the right. Okay. Before that, the label. Yeah. The label. I want to show you this label. If you look carefully, here actually is the symbol A, and this is the symbol B. Yeah. C D. Ah, uh, yeah. It's not so clear. Yeah, but I want to make it clearer. So this is actually A, this is actually B, yeah? Uh, yeah? It's too dark, you can't see. Actually, this is label A, this is label B. Okay, label B, and this is uh, C, this is C, and this is D. Understand? Okay, so going back to my uh, camera. <coughs> okay, so this is the one, lah. I can see. A, B, C, D, all right? Uh, a B C D. Okay. Uh, so rod is moving to the right. Okay, rod is moving to the right. Uh, magnetic field into the page. Magnetic field into the page. The cross means into the page. Okay, use my right hand rule. So my forefinger, my forefinger is the velocity. My palm, my palm is the uh, my palm is the magnetic field. And my thumb. My thumb is the uh, induced EMF or induced current. Okay. So now my forefinger should point to the right. My forefinger should point to the right because that's a velocity. Uh, velocity to the right. And then the palm, magnetic field, magnetic field going into the pitch. Uh, going into the pitch. Okay. Uh, velocity to the right, magnetic field into the pitch. So my thumb is upward. Ah, uh, my thumb, my thumb, okay, my thumb is upward, uh, my thumb is upward, so my thumb is the induced EMF or induced current, okay, my thumb is the induced EMF or induced current, it's upward, uh, upward, okay, Let, let's draw, so my induced current uh, is upward, let's, uh, that's my induced current, so it's uh, the induced current is going up, so it should go out from the, the point A, go to the left, uh, and then 
the current should go down and then the current should go to the right enter the b enter the b yeah enter the b current should go to the right enter the b so uh, a should become the positive terminal b should become the negative terminal uh, because why the a become the positive terminal a become positive terminal because current coming out current coming out positive terminal and then why b b become the negative terminal b become the uh, negative terminal because current entering uh, current entering so b become the negative terminal okay uh, so okay go back to my slide okay uh, so it, uh, so you can see the current is the current is anti clockwise the current is anti clockwise yeah so okay go back to my slide um, okay so actually i have prepared for you also here uh, you can see a prepared diagram here okay i want you i want to uh, put it over here also lah yeah i will draw it over here also okay uh, all right uh, a replica of the the diagram okay i've drawn it so uh yeah uh okay so okay let's look at this is it correct yeah rod going to the right medic field go into the page so exactly the same as this one lah. so a b c d yeah okay so now uh, just now i use my uh, right hand rule uh, which is this one okay so i found my medic field is going yeah look back to my picture my induced current i found my induced current is going up my induced current is going up uh, anti-clockwise yeah anti-clockwise okay so so this one i should draw uh, the induced current going up induced current going up uh, so current goes this way current move down induced current and then current going this way uh, okay so this a become a positive terminal b become a negative terminal okay so i can say that this one is like a uh, positive terminal so this a is like positive terminal so it's positive at the top and then negative at negative terminal at point b so negative terminal at bottom so it become like this uh, so it's positive negative so that's why the induced uh, magnetic field uh, in uh, no induced emf induced emf is also upward okay induced emf is always from negative terminal to positive terminal uh, okay so uh, so it becomes a circuit like it becomes a circuit like this lah it becomes a circuit like this uh, okay so uh, this is the induced emf resistor okay this is positive negative so current uh, this current uh, you know induced current uh, okay induced emf is this direction so so this this rod has become like a battery yeah has become like a battery so uh this this whole thing become like this one lah. a simple battery with resistor circuit okay <coughs> okay so uh so what's a what's the direction of the uh, current uh you can say you can write over here direction of uh car of induced current yeah that's a question that's the question b isn't it uh, what's the direction of induced current you can use the symbol here uh, you can write as b a d c d c like that yeah okay so induced direction of induced current is uh, you can say as a uh, b to a uh, b to a and then to d to c uh, back to B lah. Uh, okay. 
or we can say is uh, anti-clockwise anti-clockwise <coughs> uh, or you can say uh, or you can uh, you can say uh, can say like this can say like this uh, you can uh, or you can say uh, in the rod in or in the bar in the bar is uh, B to A lah is upwards okay in the in the in the rod in the rod or in the bar it's B to A upwards but uh, in the resistor in the resistor you know in the resistor is uh, downward D to C yeah downwards uh, downwards D to C downwards okay in the resist this one is in the resistor in the resistor uh, D to C okay uh, that's the direction of in this current so I think it's better you write this the, the, the first one lah B to A to D to C to B uh, okay for anti-clockwise yeah okay that's the direction of current uh, now I the what about the, the second method uh, the second method is using the you notice the what the ch the change of flux uh, using the change of area okay change of area and then plus the lens law and then plus the right hand grip rule uh, plus right hand grip rule so right hand grip rule uh, right hand grip rule very simple uh, just uh, just two two kind of direction you need to know yeah uh, right hand grip rule so the thumb is the induced magnetic field or induced flux and the uh, the the finger is the induced current uh, the finger is the induced current so uh go, coming going back i want to take this uh, picture with me again i want to take this picture with me again i will show you okay so now look at this uh the second method yeah so uh what will happen yeah if a b go to the right yeah that's the question right what will happen happen if a b go to the right Okay, first you, uh, you need to notice about the first you need to notice about the change of flux, change of flux, and then you need to say about lens law, uh, lens law. Okay, uh, okay. First, uh, notice about the change of flux. Uh, okay, when when A B go to the right, A B go to the right, it goes. Okay, first before A B go to the right. You can see the area is smaller, right? It has a smaller area. Ah, uh, it has a smaller area. Ah, uh, the rod between the area between the rod and the resistor. Okay, you can see there is an enclosed area here. Enclosed area here. This area is not included, ah, uh, because it's not enclosed. I need to see the enclosed area here. Okay, this is the initial area, but then when the rod go to the right, what happened to the enclosed area? Uh, what happened to the enclosed area? Okay, uh, when AB go to the right, uh, so now AB is over here. Okay, so enclosed area has enlarged. Okay, for a second, uh, let me select another area. Okay, so uh, okay, enclosed area now has become bigger. Uh, see that enclosed area has become bigger uh, so uh, area become area increase so what will happen to magnetic flux uh, magnetic flux also increase because why because magnetic flux actually all depends on magnetic field and area yeah uh, if magnetic flux linkage depends on number of turns some more right uh, why well, can say magnetic flux depend on area so if you have more area if you have more area means you have more magnetic flux isn't it because uh, flux is 
uh, you know, is uh, B, B dot A is, is a dot product between magnetic field and area. Uh, so it becomes B A cos theta. So you have more area means more magnetic flux. Okay. Uh, more area means more magnetic flux. Uh, if area increase, magnetic flux increase. Uh, so your, your area has increased. Yeah, from the yellow area become the green area. That the area has increased means your magnetic flux has increased. Uh, okay, right, right, write that down. Your flux has increased because area increase. Okay, and that's the change. That's the change that happened. That's the change of flux that happened. That's the change of flux that happened. But this lens law says oppose the change. Oppose that change. Ah, lens law says oppose that this change. Ah, how to oppose? Oppose this change. Oppose what change? Oppose this change. Oppose this change. You want to oppose this. Okay? You want to oppose this. Uh, so oppose this change means you want to reduce. What change? Reduce whatever has increased. Uh, re reduce that increase. I want to oppose that increase. Oppose that increase. Understand? Oppose that increase. Yeah? This flux has increased, but I want to oppose it. I want to I don't want it to happen. Uh, I means lens law says I don't want this increase to happen. If you don't want the increase to happen, means you want to reduce it. Uh, not to increase it some more. Uh, surely you want to reduce the increase. Okay, reduce the increase. So how to reduce the increase? Ah, uh, so to reduce the increase means you will produce opposite opposite flux. Opposite direction magnetic flux. So to cancel the the increasing magnetic flux. Understand that? Uh, so in so uh, as a result, as a result, okay. Uh, let me let me draw right. So so what happened is the coil will induce or produce. Yeah, the coil will produce. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, because you want to, the flux is increasing. Uh, so how to reduce it? How to reduce the increase? I want to decrease the flux. Uh, how to decrease the flux? I produce opposite direction. Induce flux, huh? Or opposite direction induce magnetic field. <coughs> uh, opposite direction. Uh, opposite direction. Okay. Uh, sometimes you produce same direction. Sometimes produce opposite direction. You need to see if the flux increase. Uh, means you want to decrease. To de you want to decrease. You produce opposite direction flux. Uh, but if if let's say I change the condition, let's say I change the condition, I, uh, if let's say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, this time is because flux increase, you want to decrease. You want to decrease the flux, you produce opposite direction flux. But if let's say next time the question says, uh, where you notice that the flux has decreased because area decrease, uh, because area decrease, so to oppose, to oppose means I want to increase back the flux, right? I want to increase back the flux, so you will produce a same direction. You will produce same direction, induce flux or uh, induce a uh, magnetic field. Understand? Uh, so, so if uh, uh, this one is same direction. This one is same direction. Not 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 say not to say that oppose means my always opposite direction. No, you get the meaning of oppose wrong. Yeah? Uh, if something in increase, you want to decrease. If you want to decrease, you produce opposite direction. If some if the flux decrease, if the flux decrease, 
you want to increase back the flux. Uh, that's mean by oppose. Uh, that means by oppose. Uh, if the flux decrease, you want to increase back the flux. You produce same direction flux. Uh, the coil produce same direction flux. If the flux increase, to oppose the increase, you want to decrease the flux. To decrease the flux, you produce opposite direction flux. Uh, but if the flux decrease, the flux decrease, uh, to oppose means you want to increase back the flux, uh, you produce same direction flux. Uh, same direction induced flux, so that uh, to increase back the flux. Okay? <laughs> uh, so, remember these are two different flux. Uh. This one is the original flux, original av available flux. Uh, this one is the flux induced by the coil. So, these are two different flux. Uh. Two different flux. Uh, this one comes from the coin. So, okay, let's go back to this one because this flux increase. Uh, so, uh, flux increase. So, to decrease the flux, you produce opposite direction flux. So, um, uh, this induced flux must be opposite direction with the initial flux. The initial flux is into the page, right? Initial flux is into the page. So, this induced flux must be opposite direction with the one going into the page. So opposite direction means go must, the induced flux must be going out of the page. Uh, out of the page. So that means it must be going out of the page. Ah. Be going out of the page. Ah, this one. You understand? Ah. Original flux into the page. Induced flux must going out of the page. Ah, induced magnetic field should go out of the page. Yeah, out of the page. And how to use the right hand grid rule to determine the induced current? Induced current that produces this induced magnetic field. Uh, let me show you, yeah? Let me show you through the camera. Through the camera. Okay. Um, you see how the induced magnetic field is going out of the page, huh? Opposite direction with the original magnetic field, huh? Uh, original magnetic field into the page. Induced magnetic field going out of the page. They are opposite direction. Okay? So let me show you, yeah. Okay, so this one just now, uh, original magnetic field is going uh, into the page. So, but induced magnetic field must going out of the page because opposite direction. Uh, I draw this one, uh, This one is okay. Uh, this one is induced. Okay. Uh, this one is the induced magnetic field. So now. Use your right hand grid rule again. Uh, this one, yeah, right hand grid rule. Your thumb is the induced magnetic field, your finger is the induced current. Okay, okay, look at here. So, my induced magnetic field is going out of the page, out of the page. So, my pick my, my thumb is the induced magnetic field, my finger is the induced current. Okay, so you see, induced magnetic field going out of the page, out of the page. So my induced current is my induced current is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise so same as uh, the first method before first method also the current is anti-clockwise uh, this time I use my right hand grid rule I also found that uh, my current is anti-clockwise do you see that it's anti-clockwise also ah in this magnetic field going out of the page induced current is anti-clockwise Okay, all right, let's go back to this one. Okay, so I found my induced current is anti clockwise. Uh, okay, that's my induced current. Induced current. Ah, okay, anti clockwise. So the second method also I found that uh, same answer with this one anti-clockwise also the current is anti-clockwise or we can say it's B to A uh, B to A to D to C to B yeah B to A to D to C to B yeah correct okay so that's the both method I show you already so I hope you understand okay so that's all for these questions see you bye